replace innovation. One when he died for people to bring innovation in his in, 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 in his in his grave or in his in his in his, in his when he died. None of us. So therefore this matters barakallah fiku. We all need to have a serious talk with us, among us, and likewise with our wives and our families. If I die, only nobody take me to nowhere. If I die, bury me right here. And this is the same thing that Barakallah Fikum. Not only we say it, but we write it and we delegate people. Not we only say it to one individual, two. No, we say it to many people. So in case something happened, oh, so and so say this. And when our brother, Rahimahullah, died, Baba, he had mentioned few individuals that well, Allah, alhamdulillah happened to meet and every one of them testify that he said to them, if I die, let nobody take me nowhere. Let nobody take me nowhere. So therefore, this issue about death, and how to do, what to do after death and the like. These are matters of Barakallah Fikum. We don't take it back to our tradition. We don't take it back to our culture. We don't take it back to our ways. But rather, we take it back to the book of Allah and to the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How the Salaf Salih understood it. So this is something that is very serious, Ayyuh al That I think that because of what had happened, then all of us should have a serious talk. Now what is the benefit? Of shipping somebody in another land. I'm asking this. Me, I'm, I'm yet to understand this. I want to know what's the benefit, Boba. Is there any benefit in it? I want to know though. Perhaps there's a benefit that we're ignoring. If a person is brought, he died, he taken to Medina and be buried right next to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he was an evil person, would he change his condition? He died here in ATL. Right? He was an evil individual. They would bury him right next to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Will he change his condition? Yes, Adam. Rahimahullah <laughs> Ta'ala. This is one thing that we have, alhamdulillah, and I'm not sure it's the stand, stand that all of us got to take. We will not allow, we will, alhamdulillah, and when we help one another, we will help one another upon what? وَتَعَاوَنُ عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى But alhamdulillah, also, we will not have, you know, saying some type of attitude towards the individual just because the matter is not done according to Barakallah how it's supposed to do but what I'm saying is not for what is going on I'm saying fil mustaqbil talking about for in case this happened to you Keba or it happened to me or you Abdullah that you lose your wife or I lose my wife or you lose your wife what are we going to do because it could happen and maybe it's going to happen who knows wa ma tadri mada taksibu ghada wa ma tadri be a ye ardin? Tamut. Who knows where we're gonna die? Nobody knows what land we're gonna die. But so therefore we have to prepare our families and ourselves in issues like this. Wallahi, when the believer die, he'll be begging the people. He will beg the people to put him in his grave. So he will meet his Lord. When the believer die, he is begging the people to put him in his grave. He's begging them. He's begging them, please, rush me to my grave. Please, rush me to my grave. So therefore, we, alhamdulillah, this is, this is a, a choice that all of us have. Now, you ask yourself, if I die, you, you take me back to Nar. What benefit? Abba Ibrahim. If I die today, they take me back to Nar. What is the benefit? Will it change my, my deeds? Will it change my, my Aqidah? Will it change my... If I was an evil individual, may Allah forgive me. Will it change it? Now, they wasted my, my lungs. My, what you call it? My, they got me out. Organs. Organs. And if I was a broke guy, I cannot... You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't have enough, stash, enough, sta enough cash to pay my own trip. Now they're going to start begging the people, please give $2, dollars. please give $20, dollars. please give $2, dollars. please give $20, dollars. or please have $5. Dollars. This is why, and another thing, Wallahi, none of us understanding Salafiyyah properly 
and trying to implement Salafiyya properly. We should not be part of those, what you call it, uh, groups that we were putting money to aid one another to ship a body back home. Collecting $10 every month for in case there is somebody that died, that we ship him. Yes, I agree that if there is a need that to collect the money to, to aid the person to be buried where he died, yes. Or to help the family, maybe yes. And this is even this need of uh, 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 alim to give this fatwa. It's need of alim to give this fatwa. But I'm not to contribute. So when a person dies, we take, you will sponsor his trip to the, to, to, to the, the deceased body to the trip. This is Barakallahu Fikum, something that is you are aiding one another upon that which is not proper. So if we have put our money in this, we have to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stop this foolishness. May Allah forgive me and guide me to what is the truth. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you all to what is the truth and make the truth beloved to all of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to implement the text. And not to look in what, who is going to be happy and who is not going to be happy. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. If you would have followed the majority of the people on the earth. What would they do? They will misguide you. If you will follow the majority of the people on the earth. They will misguide you from the path of Allah. Wa in tutir. Akthara man fil ardi. They will misguide you from the path of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is correct and give us the tawfiq. Allah, 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 Allah,